Welcome back to X-Plane 12 and welcome to Biggin Hill and welcome to the Beach Baron in X-Plane 12. I've previously done a circuit with this aircraft with the with the realism mod which I can't remember the name of at the moment so I'm familiar with this on circuits. Having flown the Cessna 172 in the first look video I thought I'd look at a circuit with the low wing aircraft because of course the Cessna 172 is a high wing aircraft so in actual fact this is you're going to see the third of three circuits as I get used to landing the Baron so we're just going to take off it's a, I don't know I find it a bit odd on takeoff I'm having a I think I, I kind of take off touch down take off it's just I don't know I, it just feels a bit weird when I take off with this aircraft, like I've got to give it more back pressure than, than I think. So, this, uh, the main issue I have right now I think is probably the, the default view. The default view is quite low. And you really notice that when you turn onto final because you're clearly just sitting too low in the seat. I think the default view is like that because it gives you a better view of the instrument panel. But as I said, when you turn onto final, you can really feel that you're too low. I think the way, because I can't find a way to set the default view. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to set a custom view. See, we're taking off here after a previous landing. I'll set a custom view that's set up so I can see the top of the engine cowling maybe try experimenting angling it down a little bit so I can see the vertical speed in this view you can't really see the vertical speed indicator which is a problem so I might have to play around with it to get it to work I find in X-Plane 11 I've always found that in my landings I would have to leave quite a bit of power on more power than I was really I've, more power than I felt that I should have to leave on and it's kind of the same with this uh, when I did a first look of MSFS one of one of the things I commented on was that I felt that it handled ground effect better now Ice Plane 11 historically had a, had a problem with ground effect and, and what that means specifically is as you're coming into land you've obviously you've got the wind passing over and under the wing but what is happening during the roundup and, and flare is that the air is getting pushed down onto the runway. Now early on with x -plane, that air would just go straight through the runway. It was fixed to have the air bounce off the runway and back up and give you a little bit of lift, give you a little bit of cushion. But without that, you'd have to leave on quite a bit of gas in order to, to, to maintain lift. Again, I think they improved on it to a certain extent, but I never felt they quite got it right, and I felt that they did get it right with MS, MSFS. The final approach here, I, it just feels really rough. I don't know. It's hard to put it into words to express it properly, but it just feels, it feels the aircraft is just rougher to handle. They feel smoother in MSFS. Now that could be realistic or unrealistic. But it just it, there's something about it that just feels rough, um, and I'm, I'm really not comfortable with. Okay, here we're on the downwind leg. Obviously, got a big inhale to your left. It's actually a, I think it's a training base for the King Air aircraft. So, if you're flying King Air aircraft, that might be a, a good place to start. Have my feeling I mean this is the second look I've had at XB12. Have my feelings changed at all? I've heard you know people will say the lighting is better. The lighting is more natural than MSFS. Yeah. Okay, the, the, the lighting on roads, vehicles light up better. One of the, the, the big issues I had with X-Men 11 was the pappies aren't very good. I mean the pappies are next to useless. And I find the same is true in x 12. The pappies are just terrible. It's really hard to read them. They're not obvious. Um, I, okay, you might have better street lighting or whatever, but I, 
I don't care so much about that as I care about puppies. So one of the great things about MSFS is that you get really good puppies that are, are clear and, and usable. I don't find them usable in X-Plane 12, just as I didn't find them usable in X-Plane 11. And, you know, I was talking last time about ATC and I, I didn't understand why they hadn't why they hadn't improved that in, in the sense of learning things from MSFS. And I, I don't understand why the puppies haven't been, in, haven't been fixed, haven't been improved. Because obviously they are so important for flying. So that's, it's disappointing to see the puppies are as bad as they were previously. The clouds, MSFS does them so much better. The clouds in XP12 beta are a million miles better than the clouds in XP11 beta for sure. But if you, for example, sit at, a, at an airport and just take an external view in a storm, just set it up to have the, the, the worst storm possible, then compare that to XP12, there's no comparison. MSFS does, does clouds. I always feel that, you know, in, when you look at external views on the ground, in stormy weather, MSFS looks real, it really just looks real. Uh, and the clouds, they, they're just so much more organic, I find. I don't get that same feeling from X-Plane 12's clouds. And it may seem like, you know, I really don't like XP 12 I mean, Look at the shadows down the trees, that does not look good. I've seen some bush uh, flying stuff that looks really nice in XP 12 so if you're into it, bush flights that may be the way to go I've never done that in MSFS to be honest but that for sure they've gotten that really nice here at this phase of the flight it, see the pappies are just useless I, I can't make head and tail of those at all and I'm just kind of going on visual references so this this phase feels really rough and just doesn't feel right to me here I'm just I'm experimenting with, with how much I pull back on the power. I can't tell how rough that landing was because I can't see the VSI, but it's not bad, it'll do. So, again, we're in beta, the first update has just, uh, just happened. I'm not using any OFO, any scenery, any custom anything. This is just stock X XP12. I certainly will not be doing OFO. I've done that before. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of disk space. I, I will never do awful ever again. It's just too much hassle. Um, that's the great thing about MFS, or one of the great things that you get so much out of the box. You get all that taken care of, all that you know quality um, ground texturing. You get that out of the box. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to reserve space for it. You don't have to manage it. It, it just does it. So I've seen. In other people's videos, XP12 looking really nice, so it can look really good, it has some really cool effects. But for me, my and I know no, I know that XP Explain in general is more popular on my channel than MSFS. But I gotta say I, I just enjoy MSFS so much more than XP12. XP12 just feels a little bit rough around the edges. So I anyway, hope you enjoyed that uh, little look at um, XP12 and uh, as always feel free to like, comment and subscribe.